So take note of the sorts of questions you're now going to get asked as a result of them coming through that process, because they'll be different. They'll be much more niche, much more specialist, but it's all content that you should be producing because they should be able to find that information out on your profile. Talk about the example that they talked about. So have you worked in this situation or have you worked in that situation? Can you do this and can you do that? Talk about how you have or you haven't done all of that or how you would be able to if you did. Take each of those questions, make it some content, get it out there because really you want people to have come to you when they've done all of the research they possibly can. Think about the way you buy an expensive piece of kit, right, a laptop or something. You don't just go out and buy the cheapest laptop out there. For most people out there, you don't go out and buy the cheapest laptop. You go out and you'll look at mid-range, you'll look at expensive ones, you might look at the bargain ones, you might look at things that are on sale, right? But you fundamentally then read the reviews and you want to know what people are saying about them that's bad. And you want to know whether you can live with those things and how likely they are based on the amount of feedback that you've seen. Is all the negative feedback consistent about the same thing? Or is it just one-offs? And you make a judgment call. Before you've even looked at the laptop, before you've gone to a shop, before you've spoken to an expert, you've already made that judgment. Your clients, your audience are doing the same thing with your services. Your job is to be the reviews 